I'll never be able to explain how excited I am to have this chance, and I'm just not going to waste it. For both rookie and veteran members on the Eastern Shore delegation, excitement is just one thing they hope to bring to the Hogan administration. The opportunity to create, keep, and expand jobs here on the shore for our, you know, our employers, they really, we really need to get things back on track so that way we can provide the quality of life or the opportunity for quality of life you know, that everybody wants and needs and deserves. Elected officials will be heading to Annapolis on January 14th to officially open the session. And while boosting the economy was a common theme during elections, it's not the only thing they're focused on. Obviously, tourism and farming are our two key economic drivers, but we also need to be doing more in the area of high tech. And more in terms of limiting regulations, according to Delegate Chris Adams. He says environmental regulations that would keep farmers from using inexpensive forms of fertilizer could hurt more than it can help. If you're from the eastern shore, if you're from the western Maryland where farming happens, nobody's happy with what uh, the EPA is driving through the state of Maryland, which is what's happening. It's also a changing of the guard. After years of chairing the delegation, Addie Eckhart will be leaving so like for the state Robbie Senate. Because it's a session delegation technically, uh, the group will pick a new chair and vice chair, treasurer and secretary. On the other side of the aisle, Democratic Senator Jim Mathias is remaining positive in the new Republican administration. It's our responsibility, regardless of party affiliation, to work together and work with the governor, to work with the legislature, and work with our secretary of, of the different agencies to make sure that we're doing one thing every day, and that's working effectively for the citizens of the Eastern Shore. Lili Zhang, 47, ABC.